this is a global company with global scale revenue operations challenges and uh, um, works at a large system of scale. So, you know, so Emma, um, as we talk about your journey with data.ai, I'd love to just start with what was the environment like when you got there and what were some of the opportunities you saw in your first few months on what you could do differently with revenue operations there with technology? Thanks for the question, Amit, I think, uh, and uh, thanks for your introduction as well. You know, coming into, and I joined uh, Data AI uh, right about two years ago, and one of the biggest challenges I had stepping into it, uh, what I saw was there are a ton of tools, right? Uh, from from SDR organization, from the AE organization to, to the CSM. Um, and, and, and we were trying to use this in a silo way, and then, then then ultimately, if you wanted to gain insight, there was just not much you can glean from it. And if you kind of take a step back and look at the forest over the tree, for me, from the sales organization perspective, there are three big components that I look at. One is how much activity you're doing and the activity leads to pipeline. And then if you have enough pipeline, then eventually we'll get to close one at a 30,000 foot view level. And and I started to plug in all the different tools that we, that I have in that in that area. All ended up being about six to eight different tools just in that area to answer questions. And when I took a step step back and tried to see what how is the the sales organization performing against all of those, it was very hard to glean that information because all of a sudden you have solid information and nothing is being piped into your your data warehouse. And you're trying to if they are, you're trying to connect the point. I ended up having, uh, I inherited about two different data engineers just in my revenue operations team, just to kind of unwind this information. It was a massive challenge, right? So take, once again, taking a step back and I saw a massive opportunity here uh, to really improve um, in terms of, once again, looking at the activity, the pipeline and close one, um, those three critical areas, I started looking at tools that can help me solve this issue, right? Like, you know, uh, and that's one of the reason um, I started speaking with Aviso. Um, the reason it's really interesting and it, it really kind of connects the dot for me, I can, everything can get tied back to my forecasting, right? And how accurate the forecasting is. So essentially you have your activity and we, we gain that activity information through, through Aviso. <clears throat> and I can tell if there's enough activity that's happening from reps perspective, then are you generating in a pipeline? So once you know that, that's great. Uh, is it against the target that you have set up for yourself? And then you have uh, the close one. Obviously, we're tracking how much you're closing. But what's interesting for me is the distance between pipeline and close one, right? Mm -hmm. If you're forecasting items in your forecast, then is it real or not? And we can manage the, the, the sales process and methodologies within the, with the tool. So all of a sudden, I was able, at least for the, the direct sales organization, I was able to connect the three dots very quickly. It's a really interesting uh, kind of uh, um, approach that uh, you describe where without solving the forecasting and pipeline <laughs> management problem, you can solve other pieces around it, but you don't get that predictability. And um, I'm uh, just curious, based on your experience with uh, the single pane of glass approach, uh, what are some of the benefits you've seen and what are you most excited about about next uh, that's a great question as well um from single pane of glass so it's kind of going back to my earlier question it's just you know you have to see the the problem from a thirty thousand foot view right then you can kind of start solving this issue um from from a visa standpoint right now um what i'm able to really get deep into in a conversation is forecast accuracy so if someone's committing a deal is it truly a salesperson can tell you that and uh, that, hey, this is this is a sure deal. I'm committing to it, written blood, all those sales conversation we get into. And then it's easy to kind of get be convinced by it. But through data, now I can tell if this deal is multi-threaded or single threaded in that same conversation. I, because I know the truth because I'm looking at it from a visa. Um, are they following the right medic, medic methodology? Are they following the sales, sales process? What is the behavior of this rep? What percentage of the deals that they commit typically moves in and out of a quarter? So you can gain those insights and then assess a deal risk very quickly in one conversation, right? You can get deeper into the calls they're having, right? You can get the assessment of those deals. 
So having that that full fledged discussion and one from a single uh, tool has made a phenomenal change on our in our culture. Um, it's really truly driving our um, operational cadence that we have set up in the right way, and we are more efficient about getting to the details. Um, and I can sit down and have a discussion with our CRO and our CEO and our e staff about our forecast accuracy and, and feel very confident about uh, the insights we're gleaning.